guys, sorry. So anyway, the contractor, I do a lot of work for custom um, home builders mm -hmm. in this area. He called me, he was like, Glenn, I started digging a hole and it hasn't filled up with water. <laughs> I couldn't quite figure out why he expected it to just fill with water. <laughs> so anyway, he said, this lady I'm building this home for, but she wants to have her ducks out here. And I've got this I've kind of a half a hole in the ground and I just need some help. So we came out and sort of salvaged that situation for him. And I, I hired a company to come in and heat weld some HDPE in the hole. And um, Oh, it's pretty big then. Yeah, it's about 100 by 200 feet or so. Oh. And um, so then what we did is we just a little wetland area and put some iris in it, filled it with aqua blocks. So we're drawing water out of the middle of this thing and running it through a wetland to kind of keep it clean. Okay. But it opened up the door to be able to put a few other projects out here. Okay. So we have a ceramic fountain vase group as well as one of the large stack slate urns and a little urn with some basalt columns that, that you can see out of her bathroom window. Mm -hmm. So we did a few projects on the property and then this property was in the parade of homes and it won best in show for landscaping. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I can so already that was see it. Cool. So this is the, the pond that we did. It's kind of a swim pond slash duck pond. Sorry. Iris back there is just the constructed wetland and, and it comes to the stream and flows back in. Just a simple little base group. Of course you've got an LED light on the front of it and the LED light down in the pot to get light up at night. Um, we come around this way. Just looking out of the bathroom. Oh, cool. And um, it's just a little courtyard area. And so there's like a half dome window. And I'll give you a picture of that. And it just looks so cool. Um, that's over her bathtub, her garden tub. Yeah. So while she's in there burning candles and being all cool yeah. taking a bath, she can see that through the window. So. That stacks later, and that looks a perfect location for it. Yeah, yeah. And then she wanted a little, uh, a little, a little yeah, she mini wanted, one and a little something next to her over here because when she's in the shower, <laughs> she wouldn't be able to see out the big one, so she wanted to be able just to see some little thing going on. Now, now that is funny. Yeah. So, we put this in a long, long time ago. Um, and it's just a tiny little pond and it has a wetland over there. Yeah. Um, yeah. I don't think you could have your pond in a place that you have to walk by on the way in or see from your window all the time. Mm -hmm. Just because you're going to enjoy it more if you're always around it. Um, so you put so, a second one in? Yeah, so when Levi was getting ready to go on World Race, I said, hey, why don't you just put another pond in? You can write a check to the church and we'll put one in where I wanted to put one in the first place. And so now she can, from her living room window, right. she can look out. And this is kind of what I wanted to do to start with. It's just a tiny little pond tucked into this corner, um, but it's really working well. And she has fish in here too. I'm not sure they're probably in the fish cave right now. But the view from inside the house is so important. Oh yeah. And right here you can see she's got furniture inside the living room. And she looks right out and she can see that, that waterfall. Yep. So it's a dizzy little pond, but it makes a million dollar statement for four or five thousand dollars right outside the window. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, what else could you put in for five grand that yeah. would bring this much enjoyment and yeah. change the space this much? Yeah, it's beautiful. I really like this little setup for a pond. Well, I like this yeah. little setup. Yeah. <laughs> So 
this is a um, small temporary pond that we set up for display on the stage. And we've got uh, one of the aqua basins down underneath and um, pump down inside there and a liner. Basically, we put it on um, wood blocks and we set it up for a Christmas display. Yep. It's something that I've actually kind of thought about doing That's for a Christmas weddings. Christmas display? How long has it been here? <laughs> well, yeah, it'll be, we'll probably take it down this week. But anyway, so I actually thought about, it would be cool to set these up like temporarily for weddings and parties. I know there's been a couple of guys that have done things like that. But, um, but anyway, so we're on three different wooden boxes here a liner, the aqua basin, and a pump in it, and then we put some of the, uh, one of the three light kits in it. It's so. beautiful, and what I love about it is, I bet you the waterfall from the top of the basin to the top of the waterfall is only 12 or 14 inches. Oh yeah, yeah, and it makes just the right amount of sound. Yeah, so, it doesn't overpower up on stage. Yeah, you just kind of hear a little bit of a trickle in the background, it's kind of cool. And what I like about this design and, and a natural looking waterfalls is there's probably only, you know, 12 or 15 rocks in this. Yeah. But yeah, you have, right. but you, the whole goal is that you don't want to know where the water begins and the land ends. So you soften it up with some plants. You have some pine mulch or some uh, cedar mulch, it looks like over there. Right. And uh, you have it lit up with the Aquascape LED lights. Mm -hmm. So this is the Aqua Basin. Yeah, this is the Aqua Basin. It's just, this is normally buried in the ground, but you just right. use this to hide it. Mm -hmm. And uh, look at how beautiful of a waterfall. This is basically, it's an Aqua Basin, a pump, and a plumb line. Yeah, yep. And it goes Super up to a waterfall easy. diffuser. And look at how yep. beautiful this is. Now, mm. the most amazing thing about this is, this is probably only a 12 to 14 inch drop, but this is what you would have at a bat gun. Basically, it truly is a water feature can go anywhere and improve the experience. <laughs> All right, buddy, so what do we got here? Okay, so this is a little bit of a different looking little water feature. Uh, the reason for that is it's symbolic of a couple of things. It, it tells a story of, we were two different churches, TBA. Okay, you gotta tell me this. Yes. This is, I heard there's a funny story behind TBA. What does TBA stand oh, for? Oh, trusting, believing, and acting. Okay. And um, so we actually, when we were trying to come up with a name for the church, we had no idea. It was, this all just sort of happened. Um, and we were thinking of a name for the church and we just thought, well, let's just say TBA, like to be announced. <laughs> yeah. And um, so Cause, then- Because your client said, oh, the TBA church means to be announced. Yeah, I'm right, like, exactly. What? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> To sort of tell the story of that, we've got the two rocks up on the top that sort of signify um, the two separate churches and the bigger rock together as the water comes down that we can be more effective together. Wow. And um, the 12 stones around it are to remind us um, when Joshua um, led the Israelites through the Jordan River and they put a monument of 12 stones to remind them of God's faithfulness through the wilderness and get them into the promised land where God took them. And, and so that's what those 12 stones are symbolic of. So we've got a little um, uh, pump vault down underneath some of these rocks, and there's uh, an Aquasur 3000, I believe, um, running all three of these rocks. And it's just got aqua blocks and liner and a bunch of stone. It's pretty simple. Well, let's see, that's the shower, and I don't see any steam. So okay. I think we're safe. <laughs> Go right ahead. I think we're safe.